what is Microsoft Project? Well, basically, Microsoft Project is a database. It contains lots of fields of information. So against the task name, we might include the duration, the start, the finish. The default uh, view in Microsoft Project shows the entry table, and we can see some of the field names already shown against the task names. Things like the indicators, the task ID, the duration, the predecessors, or the resource name. Now, as Microsoft Project has developed, it has more and more fields of information. The old version 2003 and 2002 had around 300 fields of information. Microsoft Project 2013 has about 460 fields of information. One of the ways we can see these fields is to click the Add New column and we can see all of the potential bits of information that we could attach to the task name. Some of these are customable, like cost one, cost two, cost three, date one, date two, duration one, duration two. But have a look at some of the other fields that are set up that are required to operate project management software. Now, when we open Microsoft Project, we see the default view, and it is usually a table of information and a chart in the Gantt chart. We split the screen Microsoft Project. If I right click on the white space here, I can show the split. Now this shows me a form. Now if you're from an IT background, you'll recognize that forms are the place where you enter information into a database. And yes, you can use this form to enter information but you can also enter information directly into the table. Now, I just want to make it clear that there is a difference between Word and Excel and Microsoft Project. Let's just slip to Word here. When I split the screen in Word, I can actually see two different parts of the same document. If I go to Excel, when I decide to split the screen, I'm actually looking at the same documents and I can actually decide that I want to see certain areas twice or I want to maintain the title headings perhaps and see them repeated again below. Back to Microsoft Project. When I split the screen in Microsoft Project, I'm going to remove the split, right click, show the split, I'm actually seeing the form view. So Microsoft Project is a database, and the key to understanding Microsoft Project is to look at the information that you require. Very often, this information is on the table area over here. So let's move this divider all the way across. Project management is not just about Gantt charts. And let's remove this split. I'm going to double click on the split, and it's gone. And let's have a this table area by default this is called the entry table just by hovering my cursor there I can see this is the entry table it's the table I get when I enter into Microsoft Project if I go to the view tab I can have a look at tables we can see that the entry table has been selected here let's have a look at the cost table I'm going to double click just to see the data in these columns. The cost table contains information from the database about the cost of the project. So these are our fixed costs that I can manually put in here. The others will be the costs based on the labor requirement. This project is baseline, so you can see that there is a baseline cost figures in there as well. Let's have a look at another table. Now here's a short for tables. Instead of clicking the view tab and table, 
and finding in some of the finding some of the tables I can actually right click in that little area up here and I can jump to other tables a common table would be the work table this is telling me how much effort is associated with these tasks and baseline so I can see the current plan the baseline the actual the difference and the remaining all of this is information in the database have a play around and have a look at what other tables you can see go to more tables you can see that you can create new tables edit tables copy tables a view is a combination of a table and or a chart and or a form let's have a look at some of the views that we have here um, the resource sheet view is just a table of information this is things in the database associated with resources for instance their name how many we have their pay rate their overtime rate what calendar they work to by default the Gantt chart view is a table and the Gantt chart because I was left on the work table it has gone back to the work table the entry table feels like coming home because that's what we expect there are many default views in Microsoft Project uh, we can actually go to other views and more views and we can see some of the default views that we have and of course we can create new ones edit them copy them some of them have names task entry let's apply that view and it looks like the work table the Gantt chart and a entry form so it's decided that this is a combination view with a table a view and a form some of the views are just the charts for instance if we go to the network diagram I'm going to remove the split then we just see the charts the network diagram I can go to a calendar view I can go to a task usage view, which is a table of information and a table of data the Gantt chart view is the default and the default when you go into Microsoft project is the entry table have a play around have a look at different tables have a look at different views information that you can add in the columns as you can customize your own tables one word of warning though if you were to hide a column I'm right clicking in the top there if you hide a column there is no unhide what you need to do is search the column again and again this is the add new column list and what I've hidden was finish so I have to recognize what I've hidden to be able to reinsert it it's always useful to know what these columns are called this is the task name column but it's actually the name column this uh, information column is called the indicators column so if I hide that column to see it again I have to insert and I have to understand that it's the indicators column and so that's a quick tour around Microsoft project it's a database and you need to be in control of what you're seeing by looking at the right table the right view the right form view is a combination of tables charts and forms.